Yes, it smells like Payless. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Slay with Tay here on Tay's Tube. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Manny MUA Lunar Beauty Holiday Collection. So I am super, super excited. I did have a peek and swatch um, a few eyeshadows. So just so you know, if you see, you know, I already played with this, I could not help it. Manny MUA, I think is my favorite, if not one of my favorite YouTubers. And I am so happy he has created his own brand because it is so good. It is top notch. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the inside of the box. Lunar Beauty, and then you get a cute little card. And this right here, that's Manny. He is the makeup artist, YouTuber. You can check him out, Manny MUA on YouTube. He is so funny. He makes me happy with his silly jokes and his cute attitude. Um, so this is the back of the card. The whole bundle comes with a highlighting palette, eyeshadow palette, and three lippies, one lip gloss, two liquid lipsticks. So this is super cute. I keep these. I think they're so, so cool. Now, it does come wrapped in the wrapping paper, and it's a really cute LB. And it comes with a sticker. Like I said, I've opened this already. I just wanted to show everything. blurry I don't understand why it's doing that ready for it this is the packaging Greek goddess this is his hol first holiday collection um, I am super excited look at how stunning so this is like embossed where it's like lifted and this is the back it says lunar beauty Bring out the goddess in you with the Greek goddess. This 15 color palette is the perfect combination of warm mattes and bright shimmers. Even Zeus would be shook. Perfect for an everyday casual look or a bold and brilliant eye. This palette is a must. Manny MUA. It is cruelty free and it has his cute little uh, social medias on there. Like I even love this. I'm not gonna throw it away. So this is the eyeshadow palette. We're gonna do some swatches. Ready for it? Look at how stunning. So of course that's Medusa. This is also embossed. And the black part is like that lightly fuzzy type material. So beautiful. This is the side, this is the back, Greek goddess. And it also has the lunar beauty right here. So let's open it up. It is a magnetic closure. This feels very heavy. It feels very expensive. Like this is not cheaply made at all. Oh, voila. So it does come with a protector. Oh. One more thing I forgot to say about the box. I'm impressed with this. Inside the box is like uh, foam. So during shipping, your, your product will be less of a chance of breaking. And I just thought that was like so, so cute. And I really appreciated that. Okay, I'm sorry. So it comes with this. And of course the mirror has a little uh, protective cover over it so you can take that off. And that's a very, very good size mirror. It does fold all the way back if you wanna do that. So let's get a close look at the colors. I'm gonna stand up for this. Oh, check out my shirt. Slay with Tay. Isn't that sick? Okay. We have Hyista, Harmonia, Celine, Aphrodite, 
Cara Circe Cleo Iris Nemesis Rhea Artemis Athena I can't read it upside down I'm having a hard time Persephone Calope and Calypso if I say these wrong I'm so sorry I've like never heard of some of these before but these names are all after the Greek goddesses so if you know about that stuff you would even love this palette even more let's go ahead and get into swatches this is my first time swatching stuff so we're gonna do Hyesta this is a beautiful transition color now right off the bat from just touching these it is so soft and buttery I have to put this down so we're gonna do that and it it's pretty much just like my um, skin color but that's a very very nice color to transition and start your makeup look the next is harmonia right here and this is my favorite color in the palette I'm going to swatch that on a clean finger to me it's like a goldy mustardy yellow gold I freaking love this color that's also a great transition is Celine on a clean finger of course is a shimmer so there's mattes and shimmers in this palette wow that is stunning so it's kind of like a I don't really know like a copper it's very shimmery Aphrodite this is getting hard so so buttery so buttery and just by the way something swatches doesn't show how like good or bad a palette is it's how you test it on your eyes and these are so stunning so this was Aphrodite doing Hera this is like a gold and this is so soft like I can't explain it it's just really soft like the formula is freaking amazing so to me this looks like a gold a very like beautiful gold look at that going down to Circe yeah that's more of like a shimmer 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 that is so pretty these are these shimmers here are uh so good for all over the lid I gotta wipe my fingers I gotta wipe my fingers not sure this is another good transition shade again so buttery and I love that shade too we're going to do iris That is another beautiful goldy shimmer. Nemesis is this beautiful shimmery glittery uh, blue color. That's a very, very deep blue. That is so pretty. Next is Rhea. This is like an orangey type brown. And I love colors like this. You can pop that in the crease after you use one of these transitions, pop that in the crease or something. Artemis, this is my second favorite color in the, in the palette. I love that one and this one. I love this. This one is so like orangey. It's beautiful right here. Next one here is Athena. And this is great for your brow bone or the inner corner of your eye because it's going to be a great highlight to bring that out, to stand that out. See, it kind of doesn't do it justice here, but when you put it on the eye, it's freaking amazing. See? Next is Persephone, this one here. This is also another great transition color. It's like a very warm tone, light, lightish brown. I love that. That is so pretty too. This one here is like, it's a brown, but to me, I see purpley plum. That's like a purpley plum brown. That is gorgeous. That's a great to 
you know, put it on the edge of the eye, smoke it out a little bit. I think it's called Calypso. I'm sorry, I can't say these names very right. And this is the last one. And it's like a, it looks like the same color as this, but it shimmers. Like there's a shift of gold. I'm trying to show it. I'm sorry, I suck. It doesn't matter though, because this is freaking amazing. Not sponsored. I would love to be. Manny, hit me up. Because I freaking love you. I stand by you 100% and I love your products so, so much. He does such a good job at aesthetically pleasing people with good, good quality for a decent price. See, this was his first palette that he ever did. <clears throat> the Life's a Drag. Look at how aesthetically pleasing this is. That is so stunning. Like his stuff is like awesome. The Lunar Beauty, and then when you open it up, it's all the colors. And I did a tutorial, my birthday tutorial rainbow look with this. Um, if you wanna check that out, I'll put it up there in the cards or in the queue, whatever it's called. Okay, so let me put this back in the beautiful box. Greek goddess, I am. So now we're gonna unbox this one. The wrapping is so cute, it's a B and L. Here's this, the same except the lettering is white. Are y'all ready for this? You ready for this? Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful. This is a highlighting palette. And again, I just love the fact that it's, you know, black and white. And then it does feel soft as well, just like the black one did. So this is soft textured as well. And I accidentally just got it dirty right now <laughs> with the colors on my finger. But. I had, there was some people complaining about that. Well, my palette's gonna get dirty. Like, come on. How hard is it to grab a makeup wipe and freaking wipe it off? Like, it's not hard at all. Like, and then, like, really? I don't know, I don't understand, I don't understand. Okay, let's get into this. Cause lately I've been on the highlighting dig. You feel me? Also comes in with this and it comes in with the mirror protector. Look at how big, this is amazing. Make sure you could take these off and then your mirror will be stunning. Oh, it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Oh my God, I love the way it smells for some reason. It's not like in a, not, he didn't intentionally make these smell, but to me, it's the packaging. I'm smelling the packaging and it smells like uh, the Payless shoe store. I love that smell. That's what it smells like. Yes, it smells like Payless. It smells good. <laughs> okay, Taylor, chill. These are the beautiful, stunning colors. So we have Harpy, Muse, Siren, Sphinx, Medusa, and this one is Phoenix. Oh, these, let me tell you, blinding. I love, love, love the quality. They are so buttery soft. They are not like chalky. This is not, uh-uh. This is like, way above my expectations of what I even thought this was gonna be. We'll do a quick little finger swatch and then I'll do a little swatchy swatch on my face. So right now we're gonna do this one here first and it is called Hope. So right off the bat it is very very soft and buttery, like very soft. So there's that, that's what it looks like. I'm going to swatch these on top of my hand now. I kind of don't have the right lights yet so you guys can see 
but in person this is blinging like i am not even kidding it is blinging the next one we're gonna do is muse this looks like a gold that's stunning would go amazing with dark skinned There we go. I love it. So stunning. Okay, let's do Siren here. And I'm a very, very light skin. So just because these colors can be for darker skin, skin tones, which I'm very glad that they are making that, but I will still use these as, you know, maybe an eyeshadow or something like that. Like these will still be used even though they don't go with my skin tone. So, that one's kind of like a rose goldy. This one is my favorite. Like they are just blinding, blinding, blinding. Blinding. I think that's a better way to swatch these on the tips of the finger. Blinding. We are going to do some real swatches. You want to get um, your highlighting brush. This is a Luxie Brush 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. So I'm going to go into my favorite. My favorite is going to be this one. Here in the middle on the bottom. Here in the middle on the bottom. It's called Medusa. So we're gonna take Medusa and I'ma show y'all. I'ma show y'all how to pop. This is how you gonna be popping. Feel me? How you gonna be popping? Oh, I need my mirror, duh. And I have a breakout right now, so. Sorry, it's gonna show my pimples, but that's okay, cause I'm here trying to show you his beautiful highlighters. Like, look at that, can you see that? Like, for real, for real, girl, for real. Look at how stunning. Like, you don't even need water, you don't even need to spray it, like, for real, that is bomb. Let's see, put some on my lip. My lip, my lip, lip. I swear I do the dumbest shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> see, I just went ham and colored my whole lips, but look at that. That is so stunning. And then put your lip gloss over it, you know what I'm saying? What other color should I do? Hmm. I'll try this on the other side. I'm going to try Harpy on the other side. Oh, that is stunning. This has like a shift to it. To say this is not a serious look i am just testing out the product and being silly so i know i look crazy look you don't that. gotta come for me that is so beautiful at this point i just want to put them all on and see what i look like are you down for that i'm down for that let's do that for fun let's see maybe do this as like a contour as a contour. Many yummy white mates. Like, look at that. Are you kidding me? Mm. That's what you want, man. That's what you want. You want it, don't you? <laughs> look at the lips, like, mmm. Speaking of lips, 
that is the next roll up. And this is also stunning. But wait till you see this. See that? Do I need to stand up? Look at that. This is his lipstick, and he has a diamond floating in his freaking lipsticks. Isn't that so sickening? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So, this is the lip gloss. Okay, and yes, it is aesthetically pleasing faux show. To me, this smells like you're in the process of making a homemade cake. It smells like cake batter, and I love it. That is so cute. So, I'm gonna put this on for you. Look at that. It's very, very glittery, soft on the lips. It smells good. I would, I think everybody should have one of these, especially because look at how pretty it is. There we go. That's what it looks like. I had to do an unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do tutorials do you want me to do a tutorial on using this beautiful creation of lunar beauty so please subscribe give me a like and comment down below if you want me to set up a tutorial using these palettes yeah hope you liked it hope that was a good one <laughs>